Well, chaos and confusion over a GoFundMe campaign, raising close to $50,000 in donations to help Bronx businesses recover from looting. Now that was video back from June. Those businesses saying they've not received any money, leaving donors angry and asking for an explanation. News 12's Anthony Carlo has this Team 12 Investigates report funding Fordham. Looting left the Fordham section of the Bronx looking like a tornado hit in early June. This part of the nationwide unrest following the police involved death of George Floyd I can't breathe. in Minnesota. George Floyd! Black Lives Matter! I felt bad, you know, because a lot of the companies that got hit, you know, our mom and pop stores. Bronx resident Jesse Pedraza wanted to help by donating to a fundraising effort called Fordham Cleanup, created June 2nd on GoFundMe.com. Even if it's my last dime, you know, I wanted to do that and I did it up the kindness of my heart. Over a month and a half since the fundraiser began, the money has yet to be donated to businesses. It was kind of like a slap in the face. I really feel like we really got taken, we really got taken advantage of. A Twitter storm taking aim at Amin Razak, the organizer of the GoFundMe, to see how you have misled people, misused your following, and mismanaged the equivalent of someone's salary is an embarrassment, one user writes. We wanted to like take every dollar that we get from the community and give it back. Like you care for the community, you want to make the community better. Razak initially set a goal of raising $1,000 to help businesses recover and also to feed and reimburse volunteers who he right. says had purchased supplies to clean up the popular shopping district. But the donations skyrocketed to nearly 50,000 bucks. That large amount of money, I don't want to associate with my, myself as a person. So he started a not-for-profit, filing for the Bronx United Corporation on June 11th. Christopher Sawyer, the organization's chief financial officer, says this would allow them to transfer the donations from GoFundMe into a business bank account rather than a personal. As far as for tax, you know, tax situations, you know, uh, you wouldn't want to put all that money in our means account. So the best way uh, to do it was to do a nonprofit. We get to give it directly to the people. Armando Sanchez says this whole plan was very unclear. He thought about donating, but became suspicious as weeks went by and the donations piled up. It showed that they weren't being completely transparent with us, that they were making moves behind the scenes to do things. In a message posted to the GoFundMe exactly a month after the fundraiser started, Razak promised transparency amid controversy, attributing delays to a longer than expected process with HSBC to open a business banking account. He also wrote bank documentation was rejected by GoFundMe and had to be resubmitted. The organizers say GoFundMe froze the transfer of donations to their not-for-profit's bank account because of donors' requests for refunds, further delaying the process of getting the money to businesses. It's one thing if you ask us, why is the money still in GoFundMe? That's a legitimate question. But to go and say, hey, they're using the money to do this and do that, you can't use money that's still there. Some people thought the donations were being used to start the not-for-profit rather than help the looted businesses and began accusing Razak of running a scam. But Razak and Sawyer maintain the money used to start the Bronx United Corporation came out of their own pockets and have the receipts to prove it, showing a charge of $225 to Razak's card. They say the reason the GoFundMe's donation amount has decreased over time is because donors like Pedraza way, you know, have been getting their like money refunded. The you can't take money from people during a time like this and expect nobody to ask you questions. The Fordham Road Business Improvement District tells News 12 it offered to help the organizers identify businesses in need for the donations to go to, still patiently waiting. Who's caught in the middle? We are. The bid is completely caught in the middle. We are still in this for the original reason, which is get those businesses that money. They needed it. It's still needed. I believe it's still needed. GoFundMe tells News 12 the fundraiser does not violate its website terms of service, but some donors are scarred by this experience, wondering if the money will ever get to where it was intended to go. 
I can tell you one thing, it left a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to GoFundMe. The Bronx United Corporation says GoFundMe recently lifted the precautionary hold on the fundraiser and the donations were finally transferred to its business banking account on July 14th. They plan to hand out checks Saturday. In the Fordham section of the Bronx, Anthony Carlo, News 12. Anthony, thank you.